Java Network Programming Recipes with Peter Verhash. My name is Peter Verhash and I'm a senior Java developer and software architect. I have more than 25 years of programming experience and out of this more than 10 years I am dealing with Java development. If you want to follow me and get more information, you can follow Java the blog, which is at javaxpertpress.com, or you can look at the open source code that I publish at github.com slash verhash. In this course, we will have four sections. The section one is about fundamentals introduction. The section two is mainly about TCP IP servers. Section three is implementing application protocols. And section four is the top using Java new IO. The first section we will review what network programming generally is, what network layers are, and we will learn about how Java supports common networking protocols. And very importantly, we will have a look at how we should use the domain name servers, how we can program those. And as an introduction, we will be creating a UDP echo server. In the second section, we will focus on the TCP protocol. We will create a simple TCP echo server, and then we will develop it further, and we will create a multi-thread TCP echo server, and then we will create new versions that use multiple threads from a thread pool. So we will address scalability of network programs and how we can handle several connections with thread pools at the same time. When we have learned all these in section three, we will put it into use programming some application protocols. We will learn how we can filter clients so that we allow only very specific clients to use our services and uh, we will not allow just any client coming into connection with our server. And we will see how we can make this filtering a little bit advanced using the IP address of the client and also how to use the name of the client. And after we have that, we will program an IRC bot, a robot that connects to an IRC server, a chat server, and then we will send some messages, listen to some messages, and reply to those messages. Not something very complex, artificial intelligence, don't expect anything like that, but you can develop further the application we create here. We just very simply will say hello if somebody talks to us. After this, we will send mail using Gmail. We will get mail if somebody sends us mail. So we will be reading mail programmatically. And we will learn how to use FTP from Java, how we can transfer a file from the client to a server from a Java program. And at the end, we will learn how we can log into a server interactively from a Java code using the SSH protocol. In the last section, section four, we will learn the Java new IO structure. This is something that can create really high performance programs. It's higher performance than multi-thread programming because in this case, one single thread can handle multiple connections parallel. So we will learn the basic structures because they are a little bit different than just sockets that we learn in previous sections. We will learn how we can scatter and gather data, how we can transfer data through the network, how we can use the selects of uh, UIO. So we will see if a connection is ready, then we will attend to that connection while all other connections which are waiting for something do not consume CPU time. And then at the end, we will learn how to use all these together and connect it into a socket, Java new IO socket. Why do we do this? What is the course goal? After this course, you will be able to understand how networking works and what are the specialties to consider when writing network programs. 
you will be able to create applications that utilize the TCP or the UDP protocol. You will be capable implementing application level protocols and use libraries that provide FTP, IRC, SSH, and so on capabilities. And you will be able to develop high performance applications that utilize the Java new IO networking API.